Well, during the launch with our uh, Soyuz, we were all a little bit excited, of course, because we were going on a long trip to space on an exciting mission. Uh, there was a little bit of tension because it's always uh, a little bit not dangerous, but uh, still tension to fly to space on top of a rocket. Uh, but most of all, we were all extremely happy that uh, we could finally start our mission. Over. are living on a uh, blue planet, but we cannot recognize buildings. We can see cities and uh, roads, big roads and uh, airfields, but uh, individual buildings we cannot recognize. Over. From ISS we can see all the other planets that we can see from Earth, like Mercury, Venus, uh, Mars, only they are a little bit brighter because their light is not uh, dampened by the atmosphere. Over. No, unfortunately we cannot take a bath or a shower in the ISS. We can only wash here with wet towels. Over. No, it's very relaxing to be at zero gravity and to move about. It's a little bit like swimming, e even still easier. You're always at ease and you can always gently move around. Over. Because otherwise it would really get uh, dirty here, like in your house. We are living here with six people, so if you live in your house with six people and you never clean, it also gets dirty and then it would not be nice for the next crew to come. So we need to maintain the station for a long period of time, maybe 20 years. So cleaning is very important. Over. The most difficult jobs we do in the space station is uh, spacewalks, but I have not done that. And the next difficult job is working with the robot arm. And I have done already that, and there will be a very important task coming up in September when we will capture the Japanese cargo vehicle. Over. Uh, oxygen supply can indeed be uh, very dangerous. That's why we always treat oxygen with very much care. We don't special gloves that we wear when we work on oxygen lines and we use special materials and uh, tools when we work on oxygen lines. Over. All the space food is actually very good, uh, but I like especially the Japanese food and the European food. Over. The garbage in the ISS is stowed in small bags uh, or in larger bags depending what type of garbage and then we stow it in the Progress or the ATV, these are transfer cargo vehicles that bring goods to us in the ISS and then when they return to Earth they burn up in the atmosphere and they take all our garbage with them, over. Dirty laundry are kept in uh, special, what we call mesh bags, uh, bags with sm very small holes so that all the air can uh, still go out and then uh, whenever the progress goes away then it's also trashed and goes back to the earth. Over. We are using Greenwich Mean Time on board of the ISS and we go to bed and we uh, get up according to the planning that is given to us by the ground. Uh, and we know that it's night because we switch off all the lights and during the days we turn on all the lights. Over. Uh, I don't know an answer to that question to be honest because I don't snore uh, on earth and I don't snore in space and I know nobody of my crewmates who is snoring for the moment, so I'm sorry I cannot answer that question.
First of all, we are well equipped here to deal with most of the injuries or most of the diseases that one can get in space. But if we will not be able to, then we can always go to our Soyuz vehicle. We can undock and come back to Earth and land. Within three hours, we can be back on the ground. Over. Uh, we are making all kinds of experiments in the field of biology, material science, fluid science, uh, medicine, and of course all to advance science and to advance uh, future discoveries on the ground. Our mission is uh, with six people to learn and to live in space and to prepare for future space exploration to the moon and to Mars. Over. Uh, in order to relax, we have contact with the family, and we read emails, and sometimes we watch a movie. Over. The first thing that astonishes you the most is the most beautiful view from the Earth, but also the fact that the atmosphere is very thin and that our Earth is very fragile, so we need to take very good care of it. Over. No, we don't get really homesick in space. Of course, we miss our families, our wives, our kids. Uh, but we have a very good crew here, and we know that it's for six months, so uh, we are, will be looking forward to see them again after the mission. Over. Thank you very much and it was a pleasure to uh, be with you and to talk to the kids and uh, thank you very much for all the very nice questions, the great questions and it's always uh, very nice to talk uh, to people from Belgium. Over. Thank you very much and uh, have a great day, have a great Sunday there in Belgium. All the best from the International Space Station. Over. Thank you very much, and it will not be the first commander, there have been many commanders, it will be the first European one, but I just hope to do a good job, so just as all my support, over. Thank you, and over and out.